Um, so I just watched this um, debate. I'm going to show you. Young man, everybody's aspiration to become Nigerian president because we feel, we feel, or those people who have not encountered you feel, yes, you are the voice of the masses and all of that. But my simple question is, I have constantly lashed and say that um, you cannot rule this country. Because sometimes when you don't come close to people or you don't have an encounter with people, you basically don't know who they are. You are an activist, yes. You sell corruption for a living, yes. You tend to expose people who are corrupt for a living, yes. Everybody knows that Nigeria is corrupt. Nigerians are corrupt in every form. But when people see you as a voice they can speak through, and um, they run to you, and then out of the blues, you select the kind of corruption you want to fight. You select the kind of expose that you want to do. Omar Elisha, you are talking about sending 13 million children to school. Where are over 600 children behind Dr. Osho's house in Okwebi? Where are they? You had the opportunity to expose them. You had the opportunity to bring them out for people who would help give them a good education, who would give them the proper education, for the government to see that they have loopholes and vacuums to fill. My name is Adeto Wonojobi. Where are those video clips? You are talking of infant mortality. What do you understand by infant mortality? I am asking you. And I am challenging you to a public debate. What do you, what idea do you have about infant mortality in Nigeria? I don't care about those who are there right now. Our voices will straighten their asses up. When everybody begins to speak, we will know that, everybody will now know that, yes, we need to sit up. But for somebody like you, who could not save a dying community? Where is the video clip of the girls who are being raped on daily basis behind the Ebola house? These girls live as if they live in, in a remote area. These girls sleep on leaves. These girls come out daily to pick up cartons of gala to sell. These girls are raped. You have the video clips. Where are they? You are talking about sending 13 million children to school. Where is the video clip of the children that we called you? We wanted to help them. We wanted people to know that children are dying in Lagos State. We wanted people to know that Lagos State is not the face that they are seeing. We wanted people to know that there's a double face in Lagos. Yele, where is the video clip? Now you come out. You want to rule Nigeria. I dare you, you will not govern this country. It is not possible. So somebody like you can come out of the blues because people see you as an activist. That is what you use to feed your children. You, are, you have no sense of humanity in you. You have no spirit of humanity in you. You will dread Nigerians if you become president. But the problem is we people are desperate for change. We want change. We want change. So when people like you come out at this point in time, we have the thinking or the thought or the feeling or the sensation that our Messiah have arrived. Excuse me. Look at these two eyes very well. Yele, I know you far more than you know yourself. People like us, you cannot do anything. More you have betrayed us four years ago when we thought you could help us. When we didn't, when we thought we could not speak. So forget about you ruling Nigeria. It is not possible. Signed, sealed, and I am telling you because the God that we serve will not allow us to fall in the hands of people who don't genuinely have our interest at heart. If you want to rule this country, bring out those video clips. Who did you sell them to? Who did you give them to? Where are they? Who? Tell me. You are a publisher. We thought that you could speak for us. We run to you. Bring out those clips. These children still cannot go to school because the government does not even know that they are dying in the corners in the Kedja. 
These children cannot even go to school because they don't even have food or good health. And you now come out to say that you want to become a president and you want to send 13 million children to school. What beside that mouth? Do you know the, the tears you have brought to our eyes? Do you know the hopeless the, the hopelessness you have brought to these children? We looked forward to you. We know people who would help when we see them. You are not one. Carry your activism back to your publication and continue to pick select stories select select the stories that you want to sell but that you you ah o jagunguru abiamo o wari jabiamo wari jabia you will see the rot and fire of mothers for what you did 4 years ago unless you bring out those tapes whether you are hiding they said it's with his excellency i called one of your boys he said it's with his excellency for four good years, I've been trying to reach you. When we ran to you, we thought, ah, I'm sending my this, I'm sending my that. You cover the whole scenario. We thought that hope will come to these children. By now, those children should, should have graduated at least four years, if it's secondary school. And now, this same you want to come. Oh, my goodness. Nigerians, 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 Nigerians. When, when, when will we stop falling prey? Eh? Yele? <laughs> hey! Ah, la, 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 la. I feel sorry for you. You want to come and rule Nigeria. People like us, we hardly talk. Oh. We don't need money. We don't need fame. We just want to fulfill our destiny in this life. So, for somebody like you, who is a commercial activist, you now turned, you want to turn a Madiba. You want to turn a Mandela in Nigeria. You are just talking. You talking of infant mortality. What do you know? What do you know? Come let us tell you. We that have carried babies dead in our hands. As a result of lack of medical attention. As a, as, 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 as a result of poverty. As a result of, 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 of whatever you want to call it. Come let us tell you what infant mortality is. Children die every day. We cry. We plead for help so that some children can have life. And you that does not even understand or you that have seen where girls are being raped, where children don't go to school, where a five-year-old boy is used to rap, to rizzle drugs. Igbo, you are now telling me, please. You still have time? There are people who can still help. The government can still help because plus the police, plus the soldiers, plus everybody, everybody, we are, they are all the same. Community where prostitutes are, 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 using, are, are using political uh, 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 hopes as they, are, as they are tomorrow, they are there in Agege. So many. Which one do we want to say? You have their video clips. Bring them. Bring them out. If truly you expose corruption, why didn't you expose that? Why could you not expose that? Why could you not at the time during politics when we undercovered those places? Why? We were looking, seeking for help for them. You took the video clips, you hid them, you sold them. You made money. They told you not to expose it. You made money. Selective publicity. Now you are now. Omoyele. Yes, 2019, I personally am saving money to buy 10 cows to, 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 uh, to celebrate you as the president of Facebook or social media. That's where your office is. You have no physical office. You have no physical home. Nothing about you is physical. So where you, where they hail you every second, we are going to celebrate you. But that you want to come and rule this Nigeria, it will not happen. If, if it will not happen, Whatever will change it from the throne of heaven is what will change it. For what you did to those children, those helpless children, four years ago, ah, they are seeking for vengeance now. They are seeking for vengeance now. I speak on their behalf. They are seeking for vengeance now. You are going nowhere. You will not rule my father's land. You have betrayed this father's land. You are a traitor. And that is who you are. And you are not going to sit to rule this country. 
I said so. 